Rocky Rod, you son of a bitch. Let's watch this bitch run. You ready? Welcome back to the Breakfast Club, the game. And I'm Emilio Estevez, and we're running. Because I'm the jock. You don't mean you in particular. You mean the person like we're, you're playing as. Obviously, you've never seen the Breakfast Club. Or I've seen the Breakfast Club once. I don't well, know any name of the Estevez character. Estevez is the jock character. Which one's the jock character? The fucking jock! The, the guy who's in the football uniform? He got the nerd? He, or he's a wrestler or something. Wrestler, okay. God damn... Are you following me, bitch? Yeah, and then you got the badass guy that everybody went as for Halloween and fucking How I Met Your Mother. He's my favorite. Who are you working for? So your favorite's the jock, then? No. Oh. It is the badass guy. Oh, I like, you a, like I like Emilio Estevez better as an actor. He has a lot better movies. I've never seen that guy from Breakfast Club ever again. <laughs> You're confused. Yeah. Mighty Ducks? No, I'm talking about the, the other guy, the bad... Fucking that guy I've never seen again. I mean, Estevez, buddy ducks. Fucking young guns. Fucking the outsiders. He's I like so the him. Jock. He's done a lot of stuff. The you, jock. You use the, use the actual people because I don't know the goddamn. The other guy's actually. name is Judd Nelson. And okay. I've never seen Judd Nelson really. Okay. Oh, he was in Boot Knock Saints too. Was he? He got fucking killed. Really? That guy? Yeah. Who the fuck was he in Boot Knock Saints too? The fucking guy. He's like a guy who gets killed. I don't know. Yeah, kid? she 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 doesn't know either. Judd Nelson is in fucking Blue Knox Saints too. That's yeah, who? Yes. Just some guy? I don't know. He was like a he was like a boss guy for something, and they killed him. Well, why the fuck do we don't remember him? Well, then? We're gonna look him we'll up. Look him up. We'll, we'll look, look him up. up. We'll look him up. We'll look him up. I still gotta look up that zombie. Oh, hey, there, yeah, yeah, that's that guy. I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Yeah, there's something touching me. Blanket. I have no idea what the fuck's going on again because we're too busy fucking talking about things. I'm not going to ask you again. So the little, um, basically the little coal miner boy jumped out the window, rode along the side of the scaffolding, and broke into the door, which was locked. Now he's inside the room, and the guard doesn't want you to move because he's going to try to break down the door. But the coal miner boy got inside. <clears throat> Now you need to try to find Tyrion's document quickly before they get All there. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Oh, we need to hurry. Yeah, okay. Now where is it? Do you know where it is? A royal decree. Go on. Lannister guards will be back. That kid probably can't even fucking read. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom, Tom. You can do this. Okay, let's do this. You gotta be quick about it. Actually, you have to physically look for it. Where is it? Uh, I'm not sure if it's on that. I might be on that desk. Yeah, that seems too obvious, though. If I remember correctly, it's on the desk. Well, when you walk like a damn... Why the hell did I go out and around like that? Uh, it's in it's in that safe thing, but you need the keys. So open the drawer. Open the drawer. Maybe it wasn't that drawer. I thought it was a drawer. The keys are somewhere, because <laughs> it's, I'm caught. pretty sure it's in that box. Maybe I have to look at it first, yeah. and then realize I need the key. <laughs> Um, come on. What's... Did we miss our chance to get it? No, I think this has to happen. You have to hide somewhere. Oh, oh God. R2. Hide behind the blanket! R2. Hide behind this fucking curtain. <laughs> Where's that blower? Would shut the fuck up! We have to keep warm. Okay? It's important. Hey, some keys fell down from somewhere. And they're looking for you. But will they find you? But if you yell fire, you'll come running. That's fun. Alright, grab the keys, you stupid bitch! Do a breakfast club slide, you know? Like, sliding into home base there. Just Slide grab the in. keys and just... Why are we standing there talking? He lit a tapestry on fire. There you go. Bravo. Let's go. Motherfuckers. Get the keys. Okay, it automatically did. From so, so, one really? of the three keys. Try one. How about the one on the left? On the left. Nope. Nope. Two more tries. Of course, it's the last fucking thing on the goddamn... 
Go! Yep, okay, you got it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Now we yeah. fucking saw us do that. <laughs> That's unbelievable. You know what I did? Speaking of old... Not old movies, but like older movies. Like a movie that I should have seen like years ago that I never saw because it was really popular during the time. <laughs> was that uh, Team America World Police or whatever? You've never seen it? I've never Matt seen Damon! <laughs> Matt Damon! I've seen that like once a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Really? I saw it on Netflix. Dude, already. I love it that they have the strings and everything. Like it just looks yeah, like it. No, yeah, no, yeah. Oh my God. With as little production value as possible. Yeah, that's what they, they bring in fucking about. panthers in their house cats. They're like trained house cats. Oh my God. You know what I mean? America. And I always love the. Yeah, America, America, fuck yeah. The motherfucking day now. I'm surprised that's not our official theme song. <laughs> this track was. Yeah. You have no time to um, waste. What's even better is he, every time. He does that speech twice where they're like, we're dicks! No <laughs> sometimes we fuck pussies, sometimes we fuck assholes, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's yeah. A good. Yeah, it. I mean, it's one of those things where it, it, it's clever. You could, I could clearly hear the South Park characters in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The character voices, like they did. Um, Kim Jong. Un, whatever his last name is, I don't know. Um, but that was obviously the Chinese guy from South Park. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like to a T. I heard. Um, I heard Stan quite a few times. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, I finally saw that movie on Netflix. Netflix is a great place. We should talk about the legend of Frosty. Nothing much to say. We when we were setting up Christmas decorations, oh, Jesus um, we wanted to listen to some. <laughs> obviously, he's, he's uh, okay. He's giving. You, he's trying to. Okay, you're taking the dagger because um, you're going to meet the woman who you're trying to marry. She has like information for you. And why am I taking a dagger? It's he's doing case, it for your protection in case, case it's an ambush. Somewhere. Yeah, he yeah. This one he doesn't trust her. Fight off like eight guys with swords. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so okay. now you got to go explore and try to find her where she's hiding. If she's supposed to meet you here, anyway. So, we're setting up a Christmas decorations. We had the Christmas tree up, all lit up and everything. And uh, we decided to play some Christmas movies while we were waiting. Mm -hmm. And we, over there on Blu-ray, we have, um, like, um, the, um... Uh-huh. What the fuck are you typing, woman? Uh, I hear it click every time. Um, we were watching, like, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, The Year Without Santa Claus, all those classic, like, you know, old, like, claymation kind of looking stuff. And, um stop animation kind of thing and uh there was that animated frosty movie you know what i mean uh -huh. and so apparently not only is there like the original like frosty movie then there was a sequel frosty movie like the return of frosty or whatever we also have that but in 2005 they did the legend of frosty and it was on netflix so I did, it was only an hour and in like six minutes i'm like okay it's on netflix i'll watch it dude it was fucking horrible it was, horrible. It was really fucking bad first of all um who the fuck is... Oh, that's him? Yeah. That's him? Yeah, that's Judd Nelson. He doesn't look anything like in that... In well, that he, the fucking Breakfast Club movie. came out in the 80s. Well, and I Blue know, but... Two came out, like... Jesus Christ, you know I mean? like... 2000 and something, I don't He looks remember. totally different. 2009. Okay, I fucking looked at everything. <laughs> and you're just holding a dagger in one hand and stabbing your like, like, meh. <laughs> like, anyway, I but... I looked at everything. The, the, what the, the fuck the, do I do? <laughs> Uh, just tell over, me like, over left, left. I think it's in the left. I think she's like in the building, or there's an axe. Okay, no, axe. you don't have to look at the axe. She's I think she's just building. in the building over there. Okay. Um, so the movie. No, but who, um, yeah, the movie's terrible. But it's um, who the fuck is it? Um, um it's when. Is that the way um, I was supposed to marry, or Asher was supposed Asher, to marry? Asher, I think. Okay. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? Um, I don't remember the actor's name. That's the problem. The The Legend of Frosty, though, this horrible fucking movie, was um, narrated by... What's the what's the voice actor? Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Okay? <laughs> so fucking Burt Reynolds. And here's the best part, okay? Frosty the Snowman? Guess who voiced him? Oh. Patrick fucking Star from, like, like really? Spongebob. Oh, hey, I like is donuts, that, too! Is that what he sounded like? But first, I... 
Patrick did not change his syllable whatsoever. Like, he didn't even try to mask it. Like, and I didn't know this mother. I didn't know this at all. You know who who the voice actor for Patrick Star is? No. Um, and how I met your mother? It's um, Marshall's father. That's Patrick Star. Oh, that makes sense. Isn't that crazy? That makes a lot of sense. Isn't that fucking crazy? I honestly should have known. Holy that. shit! Right? Like you wouldn't even expect it. Wow. Yeah. So it sounds like it's a good movie. And then the main lead, like, no, not the main lead. The there's like a father figure in the in the thing, and he's he's fucking SpongeBob. No. Yeah. Same voice actor. Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny. Yeah. It's just it was fucking horrible. Really bad. Basically, if you want spoilers for the Legend of Fucking Frosty for 2005. Literally, this kid is like finds out that Frosty's alive, and that his dad was, who's mayor of the town, was the magician's son from the original Frosty. Like the evil magician who had the magic hat, who was trying to keep capturing the hat. That was his son, and this is his grandson. You know what I mean? Like finding out that Frosty's alive, and his dad was like friends with Frosty or whatever. Mm-hmm. That was the whole point of the goddamn movie. It was horrible. It was fucking horrible. So. I thought of something that probably could have saved this whole game. Do you know what would have really helped? What's that? Is if they would have let them get fucking married. (laughs) And it would have united our houses and we would have been forced to get along. And none of this might not ever happen. So. It's just that. She's trying to warn you about something, but she's being like so like. I feel like she's been trying to tell me something for the last couple minutes. She might even say it. The only important thing about this is what she's about to tell you. She tells you there's a traitor in your council. So somebody on your side has been feeding Lud Whitehill all the information of all your plans, all your schemes, everything. So it's got to be somebody really close to me that's in our like our little small council meeting. Whoever, remember who was out in the woods and they're talking about the plans of whoever? It's got to be one of them. Oh, when we all just met in the woods yeah. together. Because whoever it is is feeding Lud Whitehill all the it's information. Probably my fucking mom. <laughs> to save that fucking kid. <laughs> That's probably who it is. It's either that or like Russell Crowe never wants to fight or do anything. You know what I mean? He always <laughs> wants to just talk to him. Oh, fucking Russell Crowe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Other than that, I don't think it's that bastard that wants to fight and kill him. It's not him. Unless he's putting on an you act. You don't think he would do that? Unless he's putting on an act. Could be anybody, dude. You could be the one spilling all the guys. It's not me. Secret. It's not me. <laughs> could be the main. I don't know if it'd be the main. Guys, next time on this crap shit of a game, we're going to go ahead and continue on. But now Andrew has to ponder and wonder who the traitor is, which you do find out who the traitor it's is later Patrick, on. Patrick, Uncle Grandpa, Marshall's dad. <laughs> what? Yeah, Uncle Grandpa, Marshall's dad. And Uncle. And next time, guys. Patrick Star. It's all the same man! <laughs> Next time, we got a trophy for Rendezvous. We'll see you guys. Rendezvous. We'll see you guys next time.